When sellers are submitted for pu public inquiry or comment, it's important that stakeholders know how to complete a comment template form. This form is where you record the comment you may have on the standard and it helps us to ensure that every single comment is regarded by the technical committee and they make a decision as to whether the comment should be accepted, accepted in part, or rejected as the case may be. To complete this form, you first need to include your name. At the top of the form, there's a box that says proposal. This is where you put in your name. The date that you are submitting your comments is very important because comments have a time frame and you would like to know that you're you are completing it within the time allotted. After you write in the date, you go now to the comments part of it. This form has six columns. Column one is for the stakeholder category, and the stakeholder categories we have is industry, government, consumer, labor, non-governmental organization, or if it doesn't fit in any of these, you put other. The form then has the specific clause that you would like to make the comment on. You can put the clause number or the sub-clause number as per the standard. If it is an annex, you can also put in the annex designation. Then you go on to include the paragraph, figure, table, or note you are making the comment on. Example, if it is paragraph one, of subclause 2, you put in the number 1 in this column. If it is table 1 or table 2, you put in the table number in this column. Then the fourth column is the type of comment. For this, we have three types of comments that we recognize. General comments. These comments normally address larger areas of the documents being reviewed. Technical comments are comments that affect the technical requirements or the accuracy of the document. And editorial comments refer to typographical errors, misspellings, improper sentence structure, and similar problems, grammar, um, just to mention a few. So you would denote the type of comments that you're making in, in here. Then you actually record the comment itself, the justification for change. Why are you making this comment and why would you like us to change the text of the document? If you have proposed new text or a suggestion for improvement, you record this in column six, which is where the technical committee would take the exact wording when it is a new text you're being proposed and insert it in the standard. So it's very important that you are clear and not ambiguous in recording your proposed text for change. This is how you complete a comments template in a nutshell, and we will show you an example of a completed row where the stakeholder category is recorded, the clause number that the comment is referring to is recorded, the paragraph, figure, table or note, the type of comment is recorded, the justification or the actual comment that you would like to make on the specific paragraph or clause in the standard and the proposed text of change.